2015-16 his Klarna MZT-520 turn lawn mower will not make a sound or start after engaging handbrake. Do you have fuel in the tank? If so, is the shut-off valve open and the fuel clean? Yes. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? I have to because the local H repair just gouges me to keep fixing it. They say it is a well-known problem they fix with flat rings, I forgot the name of the piece. Anything else we should know to help you best? It runs great until I stop it, engage the handbrake and then try to restart it. Sounds like you have a faulty starter solenoid that is shorting out. Try to adjust the solenoid and see if machine starts. Will it eventually start by the key? Try to do what to the solenoid? What engine is in this machine? Kawasaki. Use a pair of jumper cables from the battery directly to the starter to see if engine will turn over. Kawasaki has a starter solenoid built on with starter that goes out. It is a common issue with solenoids to go out. Give me a few minutes. Okay. Nothing. By putting power directly to the starter the engine doesn't turn over? No, nothing. What is the voltage on the battery currently? If battery is good, this means the starter is bad. By running power directly to the starter you have bypassed all other possible failures. Make sure to ground the negative to the frame. I don't know the voltage on the battery but it is good. Properly grounded. The mower was working. Earlier, I engaged the parking brake to dismount and open a gate. Got back on the mower to restart it and nothing. No power. No sounds. Nothing. The dealer's mechanics told me it has something to do with the handbrake. They placed extra washers slash spacers under the frame and it worked again. But the mower stops working every second or third time I use it and back to the mechanic who repeats the same fix. I just don't know what he does to make it work. Have to check the fuse under the seat area? Should be a fuse. Let me look. By powering the starter directly you don't have to have brake on, no one has to be on seat, act. When you run the plus cable from battery to starter, the engine should turn over. I don't see a fuse but it is dark and I'm using a flashlight. I see the seat switch. Sounds like they are ripping you off. Adding washers isn't part of any Husqvarna repair fix for this. I am a certified master tech for Husqvarna and dealer. How old is this machine? Follow the wiring harness and there will be a fuse holder with a 20 amp fuse, should be, maybe under the seat, near the left side of machine or in the middle. I bought it late summer of last year, 2016. This machine is under warranty. Why are they charging you? What is your product and serial number? Okay, back. Still cannot locate a fuse. I'll go back and find the serial number. Just give me a few more minutes. Product number and serial number are on sticker under seat on the frame. I found the sticker. Fuse is good too. 
SN 021315B002226, model MZT52, product hash colon hash hash number 01. Your machine is under warranty. They should not be charging you for anything. I just set your purchase info as, date of purchase, October 15th, 2016 you have a 3 year warranty on this machine. I would tell them you want refunded for anything you have paid or you will be calling Husqvarna and they will not be happy. I know this doesn't help you here right now, but it is wrong of them to charge you here as a pick of your warranty info. Thanks. Do you have any more suggestions to fix the mower? Here is the warranty info. By not starting when running power directly to the starter, this tells me the starter is bad or jammed against the flywheel. When you run power to the starter, you are bypassing everything electrical on the machine and all safety switches. More should turn over unless starter is bad. 967-1770-206-02-1315-B00-2226 No claim history 37 months left sold, 101,516 expires, 101,520. I hate when mechanics and or dealers rip people off. If you paid money, you are due a refund for every dollar you have spent. You are under warranty for 3 years from October 15, 2016. Okay, you bet I'll be visiting them for a refund and more. If they give you grief, tell them you will just call Husqvarna and you need copies of all work performed on your machine. Husqvarna doesn't like their customers being taken advantage of either. What state are you located in? Let me know if you need anything else as I am here for you. Please remember to rate me as I strive to do my best. Ratings help me to achieve this. 5 star rating is my goal and what I strive for. I am in North Carolina. Thanks for all the info and your time. Okay. I am Tennessee and Husqvarna has a main office in North Carolina. I am pretty sure I know the local dealer rep for there also, so if you need anything else, let me know. Thanks again. Because of you I've become a member of Just Ask. I am here to help in any way I can. Being as your engine is a Kawasaki, there is still warranty on it also. But if they have been charging you for parking brake issues, that is Husqvarna related. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.